I think Bradford uh, has always been a technology university. In the modern world, that means um, making a difference because of knowledge and understanding in many different ways through technical, detailed understanding. Today, you've all come up here to receive your degree. A few years. So I did my 11 plus at 10. Um, and then the school I went to, Manchester Grammar School, uh, accelerated people by a year also. So I ended up doing everything two years young. So I've completed my uh, O levels as it was then at 14, and I did my A levels at 16 when most people would do their O levels or GCSEs as it is now. And then, and then they said, You're too young to go to university. So I left. And then I saw another job, which was a, a harder job, being a warehouseman at Kells Cornflakes factory, just stacking boxes all day. Uh, on a shift work, uh, but that was £20 a week with a £10 bonus if you were prepared to do an extra shift if someone didn't turn up for the one after you. So I was uh, working in, in the city centre of Manchester and enjoying myself. I was born quite close to the city centre, um, going out in the evenings, uh, drinking the money away. It was a very good pay in those days. Uh, £20 a week was the limit that any footballer could get. George Best was on the same on the same salary as me, actually less probably. £20 a week was all he got. I got £20 plus a ten week bon £10 bonus. But I was in a, in, a, in a city lad, not many. Uh, I was the first one in my family to go to university. So it was rare, and Cambridge, of course, was a complete world apart. I'd never seen anything like it. I always joke that I grew up not very far from the River Irwell. And there was the Cam at Cambridge with beautiful green fields, uh, punting, things which you know, kind of were in picture books, if anything. Um, so, and I was exposed to a, an intellectual world, which, uh, although Manchester Grammar School was a very good school, it was, it was a world apart, really. And I uh, met people with, you know, enormous um, understanding. Uh, I was exposed to the world of art, the world of uh, theatre, uh, to discussions about philosophy, even though I was studying science. I loved all that. It was fantastic. And um, so I think I, 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 it, it opened me up to an awful lot of things. I was working on how you um, control the arrangement of atoms and molecules and electrons within a, a solid material. Uh, when you form it. You're working on some very unusual structures which had never been found before. People found unusual structures, believe it or not. Uh, and that kind of, in the end, that kind of captured my imagination, I suppose, and I was quite good at, uh, at doing it. And I began to, I was successful, I got my PhD, I went to work as a researcher, I began to bring in research grants to do more. There's a lot of interesting stuff, becoming an electron microscopist, which is quite a challenge in skill terms, building experiments. I became a scientist who wants to do science, which has an impact. I was there for 11 years, and in that period, uh, we doubled the size of the university, the physical size, and we got into the uh, world top 100. We had no international presence, major international presence as a university in 2002, and we got on, uh, on into the world top 100 about halfway through my period, after five or six years. Uh, we got into the Russell Group, we won there uh, four. Queen's Awards for Excellence. The university had five by the time I left. The first one was one just before I arrived, and the other four while I was there. And we were university of the year twice uh, during my period, uh, once for the Sunday Times and once for the Times Higher. I had a whale of a time. It was fantastic. I loved it. We like to make a difference on people's lives. That's what it means. We like to use our knowledge and understanding to make a difference on people's lives whether it's our graduates who get jobs and then go and make a difference on other people's lives, or whether it's our research which gets implemented. When we do stuff, we implement it. We create engineer and healthcare products. We actually go as far as making the products with the companies. We, 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 we work out how to organise healthcare, things like Bradford Dementia Care Mapping. We work out how to run businesses and we get people to actually go and run businesses. We like to go right to what I call delivery. We're a delivery university, a technology university. We make impact, we change people's lives. Today you all graduate, having learned many things here at the University of Bradford, and you leave to build your own future. But you know, your link with Bradford does not end today. You're now one of the university alumni. You are, and you always will be, a member of Team Bradford.